The winter update and Football Manager provided us with some much needed upgrades. One of them was Alejandro Garnacho at Manchester United. Another exciting one was Evan Ferguson at Brighton. And both of these players had their potential ranges upgraded. Garnacho is now in the 150 to 180, as is Evan Ferguson. So I fixed them both at 180 for this experiment. And I also fixed them into a 20-year loan deal at National League sides Oldham and South End. Can these newly upgraded Wonder Kids drag their teams up the leagues? Hopefully reaching the promised land of the Premier League. And who reaches the highest current ability? Let's find out. And a brief overview of Season 1 surprised me. Oldham finished in 4th place, South End down in 6th, but neither were promoted through the playoffs. But the surprising factor was that Garnacho was the lead top scorer with 43 goals, the highest average rating and the most assists in the league as well. He had an insane season. I think it shows that pace is still overpowered in Football Manager. David Unsworth was rather smart and deployed a defensive 5-3-2 with Garnacho leading the line up top. To be fair though to Ferguson, he's by no means slow. Maybe it's the agility or dribbling that's prevented him from scoring as many. He did still get 24 goals and 4 assists however. But South then were eliminated from the first round of the playoffs by Woking. Evan Ferguson did not score either, playing rather average, and Woking scored a penalty in extra time. Garnacho and Odom got into the semi-final but were knocked out by Chesterfield. After the season he had, that's rather disappointing. But that's all changed a season later because Odom are champions of the Vanarama National League, only losing three games as well. South End yet again making the playoffs but failed to get promotion. However, Evan Ferguson is this season's top scorer with four 42 goals, three more than Garnacho. South End actually run a rather similar tactic to Oldham with Evan Ferguson up front with Boateng. But it was Woking once again who eliminated South End in the playoffs, this time in the semi finals. One thing we also need to track is their current ability. Garnacho starting at 137. Ferguson at 128. But so far, there's no significant change. The third season and South End still can't get promoted with Wrexham finally going up as champions. And Evan Ferguson is rather lucky because Oldham were just two points off of automatic promotion with Garnacho once again winning the league's top scorer. They just can't win the playoff, it seems. However, fourth time lucky for South End winning the league by a huge amount and Evan Ferguson putting up big numbers in the goals as well. But next season, they will still be a league behind Oldham as Garnacho and his mates have gained promotion, finishing in second place. Speaking of which, he also has only climbed to 140 in current ability. But Evan Ferguson has shot up to 152, gaining 20 in the last season alone. And it's definitely showing he is looking fantastic already. So let's skip forward another four years where the lads will be 25 and see what is happening. Right, so we're here at 2030. Let's find out where our teams are situated. Oldham Championship. Now that's good. Uh, 20th in the championship, however. But let's see if we can have a look at their history. So, oh, they won up in the playoffs the season before. They had 73 points. Uh, they then finished in 20th, just outside relegation. So they survived. We're absolutely fine. By the skin of their teeth, by the way, because oh, I suppose it was quite a far amount, to be fair, like a good six points off relegation, but they were still down the bottom. Plymouth Vark, oh, come on, they're up there. That's good. So some big teams have dropped down into the championship. Oldham are still there. I don't see South End though. So how is Evan Ferguson doing with South End? They're in League One, mid-table of League One currently without a manager that's probably the reason why because they have a great player in evan ferguson and they cannot get themselves promoted they are down uh, in 11th place with 65 points here is evan ferguson he has 23 goals this season as top scorer he looks fantastic now we know uh, he can reach 180. I've seen him at 180. He looked great. He hasn't really progressed in the last four years. He's exactly the same as where he was now at the age of 25. How's this season's been looking though? We can see here that South End did get themselves promoted in the first time of asking from Lee 2. We'll take a look at that. Uh, but since he, since that, he has been scoring a lot of goals in the 20s every single season. So let's go to League 2. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go back to that season and roughly see 
see how exactly they managed to do it. So I think it was here. Let's go league table. South End. They were champions. There we go. So six, si only six losses there. 86 points. So that's really, really good. Uh, I, what I do want to see the League One and the playoff situation for last season. So we can see Odom went up on penalties against Wigan in the final at Wembley. Nice. Right. Alejandro Garnacho. David Unsworth, by the way, is still manager. Garnacho is still looking roughly where he is. Now, I know the fact that these guys, 146, are stuck at lower league clubs with not very good facilities is going to be the reason why they are quite low. Obviously, nine training facilities, plus they're playing in the highest point of the championship. Their progression is going to be stunted by that. If you want a player to progress, yes, game time is the most important thing, but it does mean that you have to be giving them game time in a good league and have good training facilities. So when you guys send these players out on loan, to the smallest clubs possible, it's probably not going to help his development. Always make sure, like Garnacho here, he is playing at Oldham in the championship and he hasn't really got any better than where he was four years ago when he was in League 2. And that is because Oldham don't have the training facilities and they're playing as high as the championship. He needs to be playing against better players in the Champions League should he progress. But so far, Alejandro Garnacho, he's still winning. Another five years then, let's do exactly the same. Now, another five years I'm expecting, oh dear, I thought one of them might have got to the Premier League. It's definitely not Oldham, they find themselves 17th in League One. Uh, they now have a new manager, I guess their old one, David Unsworth, is probably been pinched by somebody else, uh, but Garnacho, still here of course, age 30 now, on loan from Manchester United. His attributes have changed drastically, but I don't think he's got better, I think they've just spread out more. I know his dribbling was a little bit higher than what it was previously. So his player, yeah, 145. He's never going to reach that 180 now that he is at 30 years of age. And I do wonder whether his goals has been dropping off. No, they're actually all right. So he actually, when he was in the championship, had his worst couple of seasons there, 12 and 14. It's still a good amount uh, considering. They did pop themselves back up into the championship, but they got themselves relegated once again. So we will check that. But if we click on the championship are we going to see south end now they haven't won it south end south end no right okay plymouth are still there come on boys let's go everton did drop down at some point as did wolves they're both going back up let's take a look then at that season previously when they got themselves relegated salford were up in the championship as well they actually survived plymouth because oldham went down so <laughs> I have Garnacho to thank there, but 45 points, they got themselves relegated. Now, if we go down the league and we have a look at when they come back up, so it would have been here, they south end there, third. So we'll check to see where they are in a minute. But the season previously, Oldham got themselves promoted in second place. Cool. Right, south end currently still in League One. <gasps> They have been promoted. So we will see another champ. They have Miroslav Klose as their manager. I will check that again, but they definitely did. We can see Evan Ferguson is still there, but he's not scoring the goals for him. But South End are top. They are going up into the championship, and Miroslav Klose has taken them there. I am excited. I love Miroslav Klose, especially as a player. I hated it when he was good for Germany, obviously, but he was fantastic. Everywhere else, I really enjoyed watching Miroslav Klose, but I am really excited. So Evan Ferguson. Ferguson then. Oh, you can learn so much from Miroslav Klose. You're very similar types of player. Six foot three, a little bit of pace, but not exactly dribbling is his strength. This guy is uh, perfect for, for um, Miroslav Klose. Goals has been great. So always really around that 20 mark, sometimes 23 that we can see there. Nothing as high as what Garnacho was hitting in the National League of 42. Obviously, Evan Ferguson also hit that, but still got to be proud of that. Has Southend come up and gone down? They haven't. They have have literally stayed as we can see here in league one since we last spoke which is yeah okay that's i'm not surprised in one way but it's nice that they've got themselves promoted uh evan ferguson is up to 150 so it looks like they are stagnating around about that 150 mark uh i do want to just check where david unsworth is he's done such a good job he's an unemployed coach he's got sacked from uh oldham and he just hasn't done anything since he actually got sacked this season as well so god bless you he's sacked this manager due to the club's poor performance as we can see down the bottom corner never mind david you're 61 now mate enjoy your retirement with your one england cap now i went five more years so the guys would be 35 and one player wasn't there so i went back a year he still wasn't there so we're at 2038 three years on from where we last met and garnacho 
age 33, is about to go into his last season. He retires age 34. Very young, considering we've seen some extraordinary careers. I guess he is absolutely sick of being on loan at Oldham. <laughs> I'm sorry, Oldham. Maybe it's true. We can see, though, he does have very similar attributes to where he was when we last seen him, but he has dropped down to 133. So he is on the decline now. Is that really costing Oldham? Have they dropped down? They are in seventh place in League One with Scott Parker as their manager. Oh. You just know it's going to be the end, Scott Parker. He's had a terrible time, hasn't he, this last year? Sacked as manager of Bournemouth, went to Club Bruges, a, a team that should be winning the league in Belgium. No, got like four wins in three months or whatever it was. Got himself sacked there as well. He's not too bad on this game. 19 motivation debatable uh let's take a look though at the league one will we also see our friends so south end that's where they got themselves promoted as champions have they come back down i don't think they have i think they're still up unless they've come down and gone down again which would be a shame oldham are seventh place they didn't go up through any playoff systems or anything like that because i think it's top six uh oxford managed to do that with huddersfield as champions now oldham have they they've they, they've stayed in this division they've actually come back up though from where they were in the depths of 19th so relegation scrapping when they come back from the championship into league one speaking of the championship though how has he been doing evan ferguson all oh, right we're not seeing him as champions plymouth are there still in eighth lovely stuff now south end oh i thought that they did get relegated then i thought i could not see them they're still here 12th place, mid-table, in the championship. I think South End fans would be buzzing with that, to be honest. Evan Ferguson is a key player still, and he still looks really good. Now, he has had a bit of an injury of a lower back stress fracture. I think I've got that right now. My back is killing me from wrestling. 146 current abilities, so it has started to decline a little bit, but not too much. Now, I do want to see. Is Miroslav Closer still there? No, it's Liam Smith. That's disappointing for me, because... Marcus Rashford was the manager as well. He's had some unbelievable managers in charge. Now, Miroslav Klose left the manager role. Where is he now, you ask? Uh, he is unemployed. Did he? He went to QPR, then got sacked. So, serves you right, Miroslav. Marcus Rashford, though, he is the manager of Norwich. Yeah, he's a phenomenal manager as well. I've got to give him that. Like, that's exceptional. Uh, he ended his England career, by the way, of 148 caps with 58 goals. That's incredible in, in itself. Uh, but they've just been relegated from the Premier League, it seems, down here. We're finishing in 19th place, did Marcus, but never mind. So I think this experiment shows us then that progression and development of a player, you definitely need to give them first-team football. We know that, but they need to have good players that they're playing against and they need to have decent training facilities and probably some good coaches as well it is an amalgamation of everything the 12 training facilities that south end united can provide after all of these like years is not going to be enough to take evan ferguson all the way up into his actual maximum potential of 180 if they got to the premier league they started playing premier league teams they started having the money of the premier league then maybe just maybe evan ferguson could have stayed at south end and reached his potential same as garnacho they needed that extra bit of buzzing uh in playing better players take that in consideration when you are loaning out your youth players and you think i need to give this guy first team football sometimes it's better to just keep them at your club and play them every now and then rather than sending them out on loan where they're going to be terrible thank you very much for watching remember we've actually started doing videos on both the wrestling channel again and the dad my my channel with my dad the dad's channel is going to call it then the alpha and omega channel where we're just reacting to football but the wrestling channel is for the brand new game so if you're interested in wrestling there is links down below in the description and of course we are doing loads of different videos why not check out this video where i decided to be a scout for a team i picked two teams and i found a couple of players each for them without changing the manager to see if it can rejuvenate their season go check it out i had a lot of fun and there's more than one on there as well Bye bye